Hey everybody, this is Emily from Life Enrichment, and I'm here today to do another trivia video. So first we're going to go over the answers from our last video. That was the part two of the Easter trivia. And then we'll do our questions for this video, and then, like usual, we'll do all the questions again at the end. Alright, so let's go over our answers from the last video. The first question was, who brought the Easter Bunny to the U.S.? And the answer was German immigrants. So when German immigrants started coming to the U.S. in uh, about the early 1700s, they um, brought over the Easter Bunny as a tradition. Uh, the next question was, which member of the family fasts for Passover? And the answer to that question was the firstborn sons. So the firstborn sons of the family are expected to fast uh, for Passover. The next question is, in medieval times, what three foods were part of the Lenten fasting? And that answer was meat, milk, and eggs. So during the period of Lent, the 40 days before Easter, in medieval times they would give up meat, milk, and eggs. The next question was, what does Dayanu mean? And it means, it would have been enough. Dayanu is a traditional song that's sung at Passover. And it's all about the different miracles uh, given by God. And that is uh, what it means. It would have been enough. The next question is, where was the Easter egg roll initially held? And the answer was the Capitol. So the Capitol building uh, held the Easter egg roll for a period of time until they passed something called the Turf Act. And what that did was it prevented them from doing um, events on the lawn of the Capitol in order to preserve the grass. Uh, and then so a couple years after that, uh, Rutherford P. Hayes is the one who started the, the Easter egg roll at the White House. All right, the next question was, an empty seat and a glass of wine is left for which prophet at the Seder? And um, the answer is Elijah. Uh, the prophet Elijah is supposed to, you leave a seat for him and a glass of wine so that he'll one day will come and tell about the coming of the Messiah. The next question is, the Ekdai company Pas gets its name from what Dutch word? And the answer is Pasan, which means Easter in Dutch. Question number eight is, which significant event is celebrated on the last day of Passover? And the answer was Moses parting of the Red Sea. So the tradition of Passover is from the time when Moses was freeing uh, the slaves in Egypt. And the when he finally gets them out and he parts the Red Sea in order for them to escape, uh, that is the big event of Passover and that's what's celebrated on the last day. The next question is, which former member of Trump's staff used to play the Easter Bunny? And that answer is the former press secretary, Sean Spicer. During the Bush administration, he played the Easter Bunny at the Easter egg rolls at the White House. So that's a fun fact. And the last question from our Easter and Passover trivia is, which member of the family asks, why is this night different from other nights at the Seder? And the answer is the youngest member of the family. They ask four questions uh, at the Seder, and the four questions, the answer to the four questions answers the ultimate question of why is this night different from other nights? And you get the whole story of the Passover by answering those questions. All right, so if you haven't already, I'm gonna give you a little bit of time right now in order to get a pen, paper, anything you need in order to answer today's trivia questions that we're going to do. So I'll give you about a minute in order to uh, get that stuff together for you.
All right, so hopefully you've had enough time to get some pen and paper together. If not, we're gonna go over all the questions again at the end. So if you miss any at the beginning, you'll have enough time to uh, get those answers. All right, so let's get started. Our first question is a history question. And the question is, Thomas Jefferson and John Adams both died on July 4th, 1826, the 50th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Which president died five years later on the same day? So which president died July 4th, July 4th, I'm sorry, 1831? And I'll give you a minute to think of that answer. Alrighty, let's move on to our next question. Our next question is a music trivia question. And the question here is, in 1955, who had a number one hit on the Billboard Top 100 with their song, Hearts of Stone? In 1955, who had a number one hit with Hearts of Stone? All right, let's move on to our next question. Our next question is a science question. And this question is astronomy. What are the only two planets in our solar system without moons? Very interesting. Which two planets do not have moons? And I'll give you a minute to think of that one.
right, we're gonna go on to our next question now. Our next question is a movie trivia question. Which of the many James Bond actors wore a toupee in his films? Which of the many James Bond actors wore a toupee in his films? And I'll give you a minute to think about one. There's been quite a few people that have played James Bond. Alrighty, let's move on to our next question. Our next question is an animal trivia question. And the question is, which animal has fingerprints nearly indistinguishable from a human's? Which animal has almost identical fingerprints to a human? All right, let's move on to our next question. Our next question is a geography question. And the question is, which country has a span of 11 time zones? Which country spans across 11 time zones? And I'll give you a little bit to think of that one. All right, let's go on to our next question. The next question is a literature question. And the question is, which author was the first to use the word wicked to mean good or cool? Which author was the 
which author was the first to use wicked to mean good or cool? Give me a minute to think of that one. Let's go on to our next question. Our next question is a sports question. And the question is, which two football teams combined in 1943 due to so many players serving in the military during World War II? two football teams combined in 1943. I'll give you a minute to think of that one. All right, let's go on to our next question. Our next question is a television question. And the question is, what was the name of the first US sitcom which aired on the Dumont TV network in 1947? What was the first sitcom in the US in the year 1947? Mm 
let's move on to our next question now. This is our last question for today, and it is a Disney trivia question. And the question is, Disney's wedding pavilion provides the bride and groom a view of which building from the altar? So at Disney's wedding pavilion, there's something that the bride and groom can view from where they stand at the altar. What is it? Alrighty, folks, let's go over all the questions one more time in case you missed any or need them repeated. The first question is, which president died July 4th, 1831? So that was the 55th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Who died on July 4th, 1831? Question number two is, who sang the 1955 hit, Hearts of Stone? What is the name of the artist or artists that sang the song, Hearts of Stone? Question number three is, which two planets don't have moons? There are two planets in our solar system without moons. What are they? Question number four is which James Bond actor wore a toupee? There's been several actors that have played James Bond. Which one wore a toupee? Question number five is, which animal has human-like fingerprints? Fingerprints that are so identical that they've actually been mistaken for humans at different crime scenes. All right, now let's go on with the rest of our questions. Question number six is, which country spans 11 time zones? Which country is so big it spans 11 time zones? Question number seven is, which author first used wicked to mean good or cool? That is wicked sweet. All right. Question number eight is, which two football teams combined in 1943? Which two football teams came together to form one team in the year 1943? Question number nine. What is the name of the first U.S. sitcom? First U.S. sitcom. What is the name? And our last question for today, which building can the bride and groom view from the altar at Disney's wedding pavilion? All right, hopefully you got all those questions. Maybe you got some of the answers. Maybe you got all of them. Hopefully you just had fun playing. But if you'd like to participate, 
you can send your answers to Sperry Cecilia at Windsor at celebration dot com and make sure you put in the subject line trivia with Emily that will enter you uh, along with other people in order to win a prize so if you have all your answers correct you can win a prize um, if you don't want to participate that's okay I just appreciate you coming to watch today uh, so thank you very much I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully you'll join me again on the next trivia with Emily Bye.